NVIDIA's latest release, the Jetson Aura Nano, is a tiny yet powerful supercomputer that set to redefine edge AI. Now, this device has the potential to make large language models and also the other advanced AI technologies, which are accessible anywhere without relying on cloud connectivity. Now, instead of me explaining it, we can hear it directly from the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, in the video that I'll be showing you now. Hi, welcome to my house. I'm living in a different house now. Uh, we're fixing the house that you guys saw the last time you were in my kitchen. And let's see, what were we doing? My hair was a lot longer and I lifted a brand new HGX out of my oven while I'm cooking something up for you again today. And let me show it to you. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, our brand new AI computer. Look at this. I think I might have cooked it a little bit too long. It shrunk. The little tiny Jetson Nano. Little orange computer. This thing that's really amazing is that um, a long time ago, starting with Xavier, you guys might have known, that we created a brand new type of processor. It was a robotics processor. Nobody understood what we were building at the time. And we imagined that someday these deep learning models would evolve and we would have you know, robots of all kinds. Everything that moves will be robotic. And, and now here we are, uh, we're seeing all kinds of amazing robots, robots on wheels, robots on legs, two legs, three legs. And uh, of course, general humanoid robotics are nearly upon us. This is a brand new Jetson Nano Super. Almost 70 trillion operations per second, 25 watts and $249. It runs everything that the HGX does, uh, even runs large language models, and uh, can't wait for all of you to try it. It's available everywhere. Go get it. Enjoy robotics. And it runs CUDA and CUDNN and TensorRT. You could create an agentic AI that reasons and plans. So you could use it for a robot. You could use it for a workstation. It's an incredible computer. What do you guys think? So now, if you're looking at where to buy this Jetson or Nano Super Developer Kit, then you can click on this link and purchase the Jetson or Nano Super Developer Kit, or you can also download the SDK. Here, now what this Jetson or Nano does. Now here, what it is doing, it is transforming the generative AI concepts into reality. Now, this is a compact and it's a powerful computer that defines the generative AI for like the small devices. Now, according to the performance, why this Jetson or Nano stands up? Now, the performance is the 67 trillion operations per second, TOPS tops. So the tops, the full form of it is trillion operations per second, like in per second, it would be like trillion operations and trillion is like 12 zeros. And the efficiency is that, like the power is that on just 25 watts, it would be operating. And the affordability is that it is just for $249, which is making it accessible for the wide range of users. And according to the flexibility, now, how is it flexible? So actually it supports CUDA, QDNN, TensorRT, and it also runs large language models and the vision-based AI. And some more performances is that like the memory bandwidth means how much memory does it actually keep. It is 102 GB per second. GB is gigabytes per second. Gigabyte is like, giga is like nine zeros. And CPU frequency is like how much at like the clock cycle would be, it would be 1.7 gigahertz. And the features is that, now this is 
having the empire architecture means nvidia's empire architecture it is built on it and in that it is featuring the 1024 CUDA course, means 1024 CUDA course, 32 tensor cores, and also the six core ARM Cortex CPU clocked at 1.7 gigahertz. Now it has the fast memory, means it has eight GB of high speed memory with a bandwidth of 102 gigabytes per second. And the design is that, if you see the design, it has the SD card slot for the easy setup and operating system installment. And about the energy efficient, as I already told you, it's about 25 watts, which is making it ideal for the edge application. Now, this opens to a wide range of applications. Now, where it can be used, like if you look here, it can be used in the generative AI, robotics, even vision AI, IoT devices, and also large language models. Now, here in robotics, it can be used to power up the robots with the advanced decision making and also the planning capability for the internet of things devices the iot what it does it can enable the smart home applications or the systems and also the industrial iot solutions with the one device intelligence vision transformers means the vision ais like the image recognition model it can deploy those also in the large language models what it can do it can run the conversational ai models locally or secure and private interactions because of its design and the impressive performance the jetson or nano is the comparable to the raspberry pi but it offers capabilities beyond it making it suitable for the ai application now how it would power the future of ai now because this jetson or nano it represents the leap forward for edge computing in which it would bring the advanced capabilities and to local environments. Now with this release, what it will do, it will redefine the possibilities of AI hardware in which it will enable a future where intelligence is accessible, efficient, and secure. Now, if you're excited about this development as I am, now stay tuned for more updates on the AI transformative innovation shaping the future of AI. Now, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights on AI and tech. So thank you so much.